Hello, I'm here with Chris. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Not bad. 20th anniversary yes. of ISC. Yes. What are the vibes at the show booth? There is a ton of excitement at the show today because, yes, 20th anniversary of ISE. It's been a, a show that has grown throughout the years and the innovation continues to increase every single year. You know, for a while we had to work in different ways where we mm -hmm. couldn't see each other directly. People want to make that direct connection and understand what a product is doing and they can only do that by coming here. Perfect. And one of the biggest draws is always new tech, right? That's yes. what this show is all about. What have you got on show? So we have a lot of new things to talk about this year, which I'm very excited about. So in our Microflex Advance uh, series, our 901 is our newest offering. We're launching here for the first time. It's a round form factor of a ceiling array. So that allows for more design options for people. It has a really pleasant aesthetic to it. Then we also have our 902, which is a combined ceiling array with microphones and a speaker built in. The only one on the market. It takes a lot of you know, smart physics people to figure out how do you put a speaker next to microphones and not get feedback. We are also launching the new Sure Cloud platform. We have a beta uh, version of that that people can opt into. And what's cool about that is people that have Sure ID can connect into the cloud and monitor their devices and control them. They can access our educational um, programs we have like Sure Audio Institute and our tech portal. And then finally, we also have the newest one you see above me here is the Microflex Wireless Next 2. And that's basically an out of the box, plug and play two channel wireless system to be used in corporate arenas, in classrooms. It takes the frequency selection out of a person's mind. It just makes it automatic. Very easy system to use. Yeah, and when I look at the wider technology landscape, uh, the there are a bunch of trends, uh, especially AI and other innovation, which is maturing. Yeah, and yeah. it's kind of going to change the game for how we operate and how technology and platforms are, are used. Are you looking at incorporating it into your offerings? I, I find it so interesting to watch how AI burst onto the scene, at least into like the mainstream mindset, mm. you know, about a, about a year ago yeah. or so, right? But in reality, many of us have been using it for years before that. So take, for example, Sure um, Intellimix. Hmm. That product is trained by machine learning and artificial intelligence to know when you're in a meeting space and somebody is making some kind of noise in a meeting, like rustling papers or there's air conditioning noise. What kind of sound do we want to transmit to the people on the other end versus what sound do we want to take out and reduce that noise? So our denoiser uses AI and machine learning to discern the difference between good sound and bad sound. Yeah, and I want to continue this conversation and take it towards outcomes because that's what the end user is interested right. in. The technology is just supposed to work on its, it's own. A facilitator. Yes, they yeah. want they, they're concerned with the outcomes and one of the things that I'm seeing, especially in the workplace, is an increased focus on better outcomes for diversity, equity, inclusivity. Right. These are things that are becoming more important as we go forward. How does Shores technology enable these outcomes for our end users? Well, that's a really important topic for us because we are a global company. We serve a lot of different people in a lot of different and diverse parts of the world. So we believe that we need to be a good reflection of those communities that we're servicing. So our um, our objectives to try to increase diversity, not just at Sure, but within the industry in general, involve a lot of things that we do both internally and externally. I think it's wonderful that trade organizations like Avixa, for example, have the Women's Council, have the Diversity Council. The whole industry is really trying to figure out, if you're going to innovate, yep. you have to have a broad way of thinking. Yep. You can't just have a single mindset. Hmm. So it's great that this conversation is continuing hmm. and we're all working together to figure out how do we drop people into this industry? It's kind of hard to find in the first place and it's even harder for some people to find. So we've got to get into people's hearts and minds early in their careers, early in their life actually. So we're hmm. talking about reaching into schools and telling people about the AV industry and why it's high tech, it's fun, and it's full of a lot of really good people. Just to cap our conversation off, I think that there's a confluence of trends that is coming together in the AV industry, right? We've got the modern tech, we've got the modern mindsets, right. we're looking at better outcomes, right? How do you think we progress from this point forward? 
two words, in, or I'm, I'll give you three words, yeah. how's that? Innovation, of course, yep. that's, a, that's a given. But then collaboration and flexibility. The ways that people work and learn these days are very different than they were five years ago. So we need to have rooms that people can use in multi-purpose ways. One day, maybe this is an education room. The next day, it's a meeting room or a town hall kind of setting. So all of our solutions need to be highly adaptable. So we need to kind of figure that out. By collaboration, I mean all of us in industry need to figure out how can we create solutions together? How can my products talk with somebody else's products and make it seamless to that end user? So I think that's something that we all have a common bond and interest about. And of course, we're always all innovating as well. Yep, that seems like a good way to move into 2024 and beyond. Absolutely. Chris, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.